Hey guys, it's Candy from candyscraftcorner.blogspot.com and Candy's Craft Corner 1 on YouTube. I'm here today to give you a little tour of my craft room. I wouldn't say scrap room because I don't scrap. Anyway, here we go. So I'm going to give an overall roundabout look of my room for those people who don't like the detailed tours and then I'm going to go into more detail. Okay guys? Okay, here we go. So this is, you come down the stairs, I'm in the basement, so my rubber stamps, my Jet Max cubes, excuse the lighting down here guys, I'm in the basement so there's not a whole lot of light. And here's my new desk from Ikea, it's called a Vika. Okay. More Jet Max sign I made more rubber stamps, paper storage, diaper table that I repurposed, cinch, clip it up, cut a bug, card storage, six cube storage. That I got from Canadian Tire. Uh, another clip it up. My big shot storage. More Jet Max cubes. Butterfly made. Butterflies, I guess. It's my favorite painting made for me by someone in Las Vegas. It's my lovely curtain. And the curtain and all of the cozies were made by. Um, Kathy's Cozies. You can find her on Etsy, I'm sure, and uh, she also has a Facebook page. She's awesome, has awesome prices, and she really works with you. So thanks, Kathy. I love all my cozies. And there is the treadmill. Another butterfly made. A few of my favorite cards. My gel nail certificate. My pink moon chair. Lamp by made my light tent, place where I keep my cards. Um, I imagine with another cozy and just the TV and entertainment unit. We purp repurposed, we had it up in our family room. Sorry, but if I'm in there that you just scope by, that was just a storage room, laundry room kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm going to go into detail. And I'm actually going to go into um, another video with separate storage ideas that I have. Maybe I can help you guys out. So this is where I store my rubber stamps. Lala's. Uh, Magnolia's. And from various other companies. Okay. Uh, next is this Jetmex or Recollections Cues. I guess they're calling them now. My sign. Gotta have tissues. Always got a drippy nose, of course. You gotta change the mode. So I have all of them marked. This has markers and chalk, but it also has um, get the light on. Also has some glues, terpenoid stuff like that. Some chalks. Uh, my big markets and E6000. And whatnot. Okay. Next is crinkle ribbon. Uh, got some from some seam binding from Liz's Paper Boutique. Just got that. Uh, three Girl Jam and Yummy, Yummy, Yummy Minecraft Spot. Oh, hey, I also have some from Pink by Design that I got from her store too. Okay. Uh, and this next one is trims. Actually, it's Baker's Twine, mostly. And I'll go into more detail in a, in another video. But I got this idea from Sarah at Live, Love, and Scrap. So I hold my Baker's Twine. Next one is Bling. Uh, Viva Decor Pearl Pins. Mini Buttons, Bling, Brads. And miscellaneous stuff in the back. Clothes pins and whatnot. Next one is a ribbon drawer. Another ribbon drawer. 
another ribbon drawer. Can you tell I'm a ribbon addict? <laughs> Mostly paper tray ink in this one. And yet another one. It's my bow maker from Three Girl Jam. Love this thing. Miscellaneous trims, my ribbon iron. And these ribbons I got from like racks and swaps and whatnot. So I'm just putting them on doll heads and pins. I haven't quite finished that yet. Next one is inks. So re-inkers. I only have a few Stampin' Up! heads there in there. Uh, the cat's eyes. Um, more re-inkers from the Memento. And my Dewdrop inks. Oh, sorry. This is the Tim Holtz drawer. Uh, all of my re-inkers are back there. My foam pads, applicator, Stampin' Up! Um, sponges. Um, alcohol blending solution. Um, these are the alcohol inks that I just got last week. I got to play with. Um, these are the distress stains. I have them all marked at the top. Next is punches. So stamping up Miguel slot punch. More punches in this one. Order punches and like random punches. Ooh, heavy. And this one is more border punches and little random punches, cloud punches. This one holds mostly my circle and scallop circle punches in all the various sizes. Um, next is my Martha Stewart scoreboard. Love that. And I hope my blog notes book right here too. Okay, next we'll move on to my table. Um, so here is um, a storage caddy that I hold all of my things that I want to have on hand. So I have, th I think, five pairs of scissors in this thing. But anyway, you just Tim Holtz. Ones I use for paper if I need to make long cuts. Uh, these I just use for ribbon only. Tiny attacher, files, more... Uh, scissors, glues, all my tools, uh, glue dots, uh, pop dots, um, glue pins, and all my corner punchers, my little score buddy. I love this thing. It has to be right on hand. Um, more glues in the back, the large. These things in the back I rarely go to, so I don't mind them being back there. I don't mind reaching around. So this is more chalks. And in the pocket in the back is more pens and whatnot. Okay, so in these drawers are my baby wipes. John says baby wipes. I love that smell. And my Stampin' Spritz. Um, large blocks in this one. Small blocks. Uh, my Tim Holtz Just Dress Markers and my Memento Markers. And my glue erasers I think that's what they're called okay my pink tape dispenser I love that thing uh, this is where I put my ATG gun this is where I store my Copics with my Copic journal I'll do a separate video on that um, little pin cushion I made I did do a tutorial on that this is where I store my um, Emma's dies my creative time I keep her separate Okay, a uh, little glass jar with um, pens that I use all the time, markers, glitter pens, white gel pens, little thing, glossy accents, and I put some cute little triple bow on there. Okay, uh, this where I keep my ink pads. My daughter made this in wood shop last year. We, f we were cleaning out our room, we were going to throw it away, and I said, hey, I can put my inks on that. So that's what I did. So I got my Tim Holtz. Painted it white, obviously. My mementos. A few close to my heart. More memento. Uh, that's my favorite Versafine. And these are some of my new favorites. Uh, Color Box inks by Stephanie Bernard. I love her inks. Okay, so these are um, some words that I bought at Michael's. I just painted them pink. And then last week I was bored and decided to put some black little marks on them to make them look like zebra print. I think they turned out pretty cute. Anyway, so here's where I store my buttons. 
all in their own um, color jars. Got the jars and the um, little rail at Ikea. Okay, this uh, was made by my son Tyler. Thanks Tyler. Made me this little heart shelf in woodworking. My little Xyron sticker maker. I blinged out my little lamp. Lamp I just got from Walmart. And my making memories mat. My cutter. Can't live without that. Uh, where I store my digis for coloring. Uh, my IROC uh, gel pens. Uh, in here are charms, cabochons, um, buckles, stuff like that. Uh, extra ribbon bits, buttons, flowers, my videos, my pink stamper, and my creative time. Here is my Crooked with my Crack Kathy's Cozy on it, my Gypsy. Um, my husband just put this shelf up for me the other day. And in here, it's not a whole lot empty. Some more digi images I want to color, or stamped images, excuse me. What project I want to do. Wobbles, clip it up clips, empty, uh, airbrushing supplies. In that one is, what is in that one? Prisma pencils. Um, Stampin' Up pencils and anything to do with blenders. Top is where I keep all my blades for my cutter, for my Cricut, uh, for my straight edge, my craft knife. Up here I hold a um, sticker maker and a couple things that I got from my guardian angels at work. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Alrighty, in this top drawer at my desk, not a whole lot. Stamp daubers, um, cleaner, uh, mask, stamp pad, stamp positioner, uh, distressing tool. This thing is new to me last week, so there's it's not full full yet. All my embossing things, stuff, oops, drawers really deep. So it's flock, mini misters, embossing powders, um, embossing tray. And uh, the ones, the white and the clear, I keep them in the little containers with the spoons. Uh, the embossing pens and the pads. And the next one is everything glitter. So all my stickles, all held upside down so I can tell the colors, all my glitters. Okay, these glitters I also use when I'm use, uh, doing my gel nails. And uh, yeah, they're just by. Martha Stewart. Empty. This one just holds my gypsy holder and crop it off. Okay, under my desk, I hold four of these containers and I got them from eBay. And top is the cartridges and the books and overlays okay I can go to another video if you like about that okay I also store my heat tool on the little hook and in here is where I hold my um, Copic refills and Copic blender I'll close that up later uh, my stamp positioners the large one and the small one and here's where I store my paper scraps in this little right next to me so, and this is where I go first so it's all in uh, in their own slot each color pink red yellow orange blue green so on some more papers I got from recollections my coloring paper uh, express it pure luxury and the cryogen extra packs of paper this one is where I store all my 8x8, eight by 8x8 eight, uh, stacks. Okay. This is what works for me. Okay, uh, foam sheets, I keep them there. And this one is where I keep all well, my Martha Stewart punches. 
Okay, and I have my punches labeled as well. Okay, loops, make leaf, and so on. Okay. There we go. And this is where I hold my pattern paper scraps. And this is where I put my used Cricut mats. Um, my 8.5 by 11 cardstock that I just got from Staples I use for random stamping. And back there is where I have my supply of new Cricut mats. Okay? Sorry if I'm shaky. Alright, so in this top one is just a miscellaneous drawer. Velcro, extra containers, Mod Podge. I've never tried Mod Podge before. I'm going to have to try that. Stamp cleaner, uh, some bling. The next one is my P-Touch that I love, my extra pink tape, uh, photo box storage, and my rare. This one is my glue guns and glue sticks. Here's where I keep my stamps. Um, yeah, Stamps of Life, Peachy Keen, Assorted. I'll go through those in a separate video. Okay, guys? Next is my 6x6 six six pads. Like I said already, I'm not, a, um, if I haven't said already, I'm not a scrapbooker. I just make cards, so I don't have a lot of 12x12 12 12 paper. I This is what I buy. So, and I buy a lot of it. So that's one. Uh, there's another one full of 6x6 six six pads. And another one filled. And this one is empty. Woohoo! Room to grow. Down here is this is almost all of my 12x12 12 12 paper, other than a couple of stacks on the other side of the room. Okay, so. So I have, and that's the pattern 12x12. 12 12. And the this one is the 12x12 12 12 colored. I'll push that in later. Hey, okay, here's more rubber stamps, and these are all my greeting farm. This is a sign that I made for my room. Hey, okay, and here's where I keep my bling. This little box. Here's where I keep all of my eight and a half by eleven cardstock. And it's marked with these little and I got this idea from someone else on YouTube. I don't know who it was, I'm sorry. But anyway, all the different colors in their own drawer. And I actually have this stabilized by a wooden piece in the back because <clears throat> it was it's so heavy. There's a lot of cardstock in there that it was tilting. So my husband stabilized it for me. And in the bottom is specialty cardstocks, vellum and whatnot. Okay, so moving on, this is a... Uh, change table, baby change table. Uh, it was from my son, Ethan. So I repurposed it. thought I could use it in my craft room. So it has the large clip it up. I hold my Scrappy Moms. My My Craft Spot. Uh, a few of the smaller Peachy Keens with the dies. Uh, crafty Sprouts. My Pink Stamper. Uh, Lily of the Valley, and I really don't like that Emma's stamps are getting larger just because I usually have hers all on one clip it up and now I have to move to this larger one. But anyway, I still love her stuff, so I'll figure out extra way to store it. Anyway, another cozy from Kathy's Cozy, and it has my cinch. Um, this is my dye storage. I've, I have a video on that. Okay, next is my inventory of my stamps. I'll go into a separate video. Uh, and here is all my rub-ons and sticker letters, thickers and whatnot. I don't have a whole lot. Right, excuse me, it's going to bang here. And this one is where I store all of my... Halloween goodies, 6x6 paper, all the ribbon, all the stamps, almost all the stamps, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, stickers, everything for Halloween. Okay. 
So the same thing for this one has St. Pat's, Valentine's, and Easter all in this one. Then I have this little one here and it holds all my stickers, not a whole lot. The next one is, oops, Christmas. All the ribbons go flying. New Christmas paper that I just got from Recollections. Love that. So, of course, I have two bins for Christmas. There's where I hold my Halloween and Christmas stamps. Uh, in this one, uh, photo box is where I keep all my boas. And that one, my felt. Okay. This photo box, I keep all my envelopes in. All different kinds. And in this tote here, I keep my Imagine cartridges. This little tote box here. And I just have them in these little plastic bags. And I just put them in uh, uh, alphabetical order. So it has the, the cartridge and the book inside. I'll just mess it up. There we go. <laughs> okay. Next is all my pearls, beads, I should say. Still got to try to make some stick pins. I haven't tried that yet. Okay. Next is another Kathy's Cozy for my cuddle bug. Uh, that's where I keep my close to my heart stamps. Keep some cards that I made and this my big bite and in here is a six cube that I got from Canadian Tire I think I said that already and I also got these the pink drawers from their cloth drawers from there too so in here is my hoarded bag of Hershey nuggets uh, you guys don't know we cannot get these in Canada and so I actually got those in a rack um, a few months ago, <laughs> I've been hoarding them, yeah, to make favors. I know Pink by Design and Stampin' Up, they have the, you know, you can wrap around the chocolate. Anyway, so I've been hoarding them. Love them. So, I gotta see if I can get someone else to send me some. Yeah. Alright, and this one is all my trims. So, uh, Bling Mesh laces uh, butterflies pearl trim pearl trim more laces uh, mesh uh, flowers all kinds of yummy goodness in there and here's where I call, keep all of the larger size flowers wild orchid crafts um, and I am roses recollections all of the larger flowers kind of full. Okay, and then this one is where I keep the smaller size flowers from those companies. And the leaves. Oh, and the pretty little blings and so that stuff though. Crystals, flowers. Okay. Here is where I keep all of the goodies that I get have for giveaways. So I'll give you a quick peek in there. Close it up. This one is empty. This one used to be filled to the brim with wood block stamps, but I just unmounted them a few days ago. Okay, on to this one. The butterflies I made. Live, love, laugh sign that my husband got me. And another butterfly. I might clip it up with my, my creative time stamps. Yeah, I have a lot. My Pink by Design stamps. I love both of them. This is where I keep my Big Shot, covered by Kathy's Cozy. And this one is decorative scissors, empty uh, stick pins. And this one is the tins I got from all my crafts. Pearls and buckles. And the bottom is just Kansas spray adhesive. Okay, down here is the long plates for the cuddle bug. Uh, my flip it dies 
from um, Stephanie Bernard. So I got a few of those. My extra pads for the Big Shot. Uh, this is where I keep all my cuddle bug folders and I have them all the names all marked and I keep them in here because they can also this drawer can also hold the larger 5x7 which I wish all of the cuddle bug um, embossing folders or any embossing folders I wish companies made them all in 5x7 it would make life so much easier if anyone's listening <laughs> anyway okay so in this one is cuddle bug and imagining so the cuddle bug plates and all the extra imagine cartridges don't want to run out so we got empty empty these two moved over they were used to be embossing and stickles okay and this bottom one is page protectors Ooh, sorry Sorry for making anybody dizzy. So these cubbies right here, that's the extent of my 12 by 12 paper stacks. And mostly it's not even pattern paper. I can get one out. It is that one's pattern. Like this. Glitter, um, foil, stuff like that. Um, yeah. The pattern stuff. The large patterns that were no good for cards, which was probably about 20 pounds of paper, I gave to uh, the girls at work that are scrapbookers. And here are my mat stacks. No, sorry, this one is my 6x6 six six paper pads. More 6x6. Six six. These do not fit in the, um, the regular 4 cube drawers, so I put them in by Echo Park. So they are all in here. So it's Echo Park. Um, who's that? My Mind's Eye, Authentique, Cosmo Cricket, and a few Magnolia. Okay, and here are Matt Sacks, mostly by DCWV. I love their Matt Sacks. Okay, more Matt Sacks, more Matt Sacks. Oh, more Matt Sacks. Those are just cardstock mat stacks. And the end one is just extra things. Extra DVD cases and sprayers. Okay. Sorry guys, this is taking forever. And the top one is on my chipboard and rings. Next one, my crimper is in there somewhere. Yep, and vinyl. Uh, my cutter, a ruler. Uh, some sticky notes. I keep all of my greetings farm. You know, the overlays that come with them. I don't know why I do, but I do. Okay, next one is everything to do with my cinch. Wires, books. Okay, and here's all the extra adhesives. Foam tape, pop dots, red line tape, extra ATG tape. And this is just what I keep in here. I have an extra box outside the room full bin. Uh, this is my paper tray ink stamps. I keep in there. Uh, more trims. Pom-pom trims. Uh, burlap. Laces. I got those burlaps and this, oh this is so pretty. From Liz's Paper Loft. And that one has my scrap bag. And Oh, that's my old um, expression cover, and some there's some uh, material in there that I made those pin cushions with. Okay, in here are sprays. So sprays that I got in a swap, in a rack. Uh, my color washes, some inks. And here are all, um, these are uh, all my Lindy's, my Lindy sprays. And here is my little bit of paint. I don't have much paint. Uh, sponges. And here is where I keep all my bags. 
plastic bags, paper bags, all different sizes. Uh, this is where I keep my 12 by 12 chipboard. Here are all my Magnolia magazines. Uh, this is where I keep my rubber stamps. Okay. Uh, this is my son's little cubby. He likes, he's seven and he likes to craft with me sometimes. I got this little thing from my guardian angel. Uh, my curtain. Cards. Cherish yesterday, dream of tomorrow, live for today. And I altered that. I just added some lace and some bling trim and those little butterflies to it. My gel nail certificate. A little card I made, light tent. I just got this off of eBay. My pink Imagine. Another cozy. There we go. Cards from friends. Sheila and Chris. That one in the corner is uh, one my son made. A few that I made. Okay guys, we're back to the beginning. So that was my room. Thanks for so much for sticking around. If you have, it's like 30 minutes long. So I'm going to go into detail of some of the things in, uh, in the next videos. Okay guys, thanks for watching to get today and take care. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.